Hi guys, today we're going to finish off this whole part here. This whole part, okay. All right, before we go to batteries uh, or electrolysis, these are all cells, right? So we have derived um, the electropotential, the first one here, standard electropotential of a half a cell, okay? Standard electropotential, right? And from this, we say, well, what's the use? There are three uses of standard potential. First, of course, to find the EMF of any cell. First one. Okay, if you're done, uh, we also use it to determine the feasibility of a redox reaction, a cell redox reaction. And today, we're going to talk about deduce the relative oxidizing power okay, of group 17 or TM. Here is the uh, part here. Here, okay, F. Deduce from E not or the standard electric potential values of relative reactivity. Of course, here as oxidizing agents for elements of group 17. See why, why oxidizing power? You can also ask for TM metals after you can see, okay? TM ions, which is your transition metals. This one comes under your inorganic chemistry, which we will do later in your A2, all right? Okay, now let's uh, let's start by this part here. Uh, after you see all these three will come together with one question. Or is is uh, okay? So uh, well, that one. Um, after this, uh, I'm going to go to Nurse's equation already. See here, at first we our concentration, the concentration of your ions is always 1.0 molar. You know? So now they're going to change here uh, with concentration, varies with concentration of the ions. It means they are not on molar, right? So uh, predict qualitatively, it means using formulas to calculate the value. It's changed, no longer E, see in E not is for standard, no, they don't answer anymore, right? so E, okay, without the standard thing yet, don't have anymore, okay? So we use the Nurse equation, which is very simple. It's basically a uh, mathematical thing and some common sense okay, of Le Chatter's principle. Okay, now we come to this later, right? So let me take you to the to compare or to predict uh, which is more powerful as an oxidizing agent. All right, uh, we take an example. Uh, well, we can look here um, over some theory first. Is here, all right? Now. Yeah. Okay. Now, see here. Okay. Now, remember your uh, data booklet writes all the equations in the reduction form. You know, copper two plus plus electron pure copper. Okay. Of course, this happens when you compare with hydrogen. Okay. See so all. Okay. It means everything here will act. Will except electrons. It means they act as well oxidizing agent. Okay, the cells undergoing what reduction? Okay, now, that means they are they are what electron acceptors. Okay, so everything here, of course, you can see uh, from here, same, right? See here, all these values here, all these all these things here. I put blue colors, can see better. Every species here. Every species on this side, okay, they will react by accepting electrons uh, to give you this one here. It means going forward is always reduction, right? That means these fellows here are what oxidizing agents. Yeah. So how good are they as oxidant oxidizing agents? Will depend on the well the. The, the, uh, the, the charge and then the amount. Positive means that it will occur, right? The, the amount here is a very big positive, it means it will occur very strongly, okay? For example, you look at chlorine, okay? Chlorine, right? We're occurring chlorine here, all right? Now chlorine here, Cl2 plus two electrons to go to uh, two Cl minus, it is up plus 1.36 volts now, okay? So it is a powerful oxidant. Now bromine, see bromine here, Br2, plus two electrons to go to two Br minus, is also positive, you know, 
impulsive 1.07. Now you know in Form 5, this is more powerful, right? Because it's uh, both are both are powerful, both can occur possible. You know, possible means feasible, isn't it? Right? So the, the, the size here, the magnitude 1.3 means that it's more powerful than something. It means the more positive it is, the more powerful it's oxidation. Okay, normally they ask you this tree, like, okay, iodine, you can see iodine. Okay, iodine is uh, plus 54. So coating this is important. I2 plus two electrons gives you two I minus plus 0 0.54. 54 is it? 54, yeah, 54. Okay. Okay, so you can see that as the E naught values go down here, as it, they're all positive. They are positive, the means uh, is feasible. The size, large, okay, or decrease, going down the, the E naught decreases. It means oxidizing power decreases down the group. Now, let me show you the marking scheme uh, of this question here. You can see how it is being. Uh, about here, okay. Question. Oh, sorry, here. There we are. Cannot stay. Okay, now this uh, on page 70, 75. Yeah, 75. Okay. All right, now here we are. See now. Okay, by quoting suitable data from data booklet, explain how the E naught values can be used to show relatives now. Very oxidizing abilities and oxidizing powers for these three fluids. Of course, when they, when they oxidize something, they will accept electrons in, right? Now, they become reduced. So by quoting, you see the quote, right? So I put on the marking scheme here. See now, here. Uh, now here the marking scheme. Here. Okay, where E not values. Okay, all of them. I show you. Uh, all right. See. One mark now. You will quote all of them. Quote the green better. All right. Okay. So we quote all these things here. There's one mark. Now I, I, I put it in another. See, uh, then, uh, therefore, hydrogens are less oxidizing power from Cl2. So you conclude less, less positive down the group, down the group, less positive, E not less positive, therefore, less oxidizing power. Now there's another uh, question that came up also uh, similar uh, here, came up in uh, 18, quite recent, okay, January, February. So describe the trend in reactivity of reactivity, see just here is reactivity, okay, of the halogen, Cl2, Br2, as oxide engine, right? Explain this trend using the, uh, from the other bottom, oh, this one here, see now. So quote this one here like that. Now see how for, uh, this, this marking here, okay? I cut and paste, not very good right here. So E naught for this one here becomes less positive, right? So you must say, quote it, one mark becomes less positive, this one group, so therefore less reactive as an oxidant. So, no. so two points here, quoting is one more, one, one point. Uh, down the group, okay, down the group, less positive, therefore less powerful as oxidants. Two marks, okay, very common. Now the other one, of course, is, yeah. Um, all right, now, now, now this part here. Here, the, the transition metals, these are all three are transition metals, which, which you will do later when you do your transition metals, okay? The transition metals of Cr3+, Cr2+, uh, Fe2+, Fe2+, so forth. You will see later in transition metals, 2 plus and 3 plus are very common all for the whole length of the TN metals from zinc to scandium carbon, okay? So these two, these two first always change right? up and down, okay? So they ask you, well, this three fellows here, okay? Uh, the trend relative oxidizing powers, that means you can count this, this three fellows as oxidizing powers, which means they're going to accept the trans, okay? So I wrote down here, of course, you like chromium, all these things, you can quote from here, chromium, then you can quote from this now. Chromium, you, you got to pick the correct one, right? Chromium two, three plus, three plus now, okay? And of course, this one is your oxidizing power. Now. Go to Cl2. Don't go to chromium. No, because you must compare something common, two plus. All of them common two plus. Yeah. Okay. Minus one for one. All right. This will occur, the kind of thing. I don't care. Okay. See now. Wrong one. Wrong one. Here, 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 here. Okay. See? 
Quote the sign, this, you, whatever you quote here must be original, must be raw values, original values. You discuss it, all must be using original values because they don't know what is your E-note refers to. So always quote from original value, huh? the original reduction values. Every two plus, triple plus two plus, of course, is famous, uh, 77, huh? see, 77, okay. Quote the original one, okay, all right. And of course, cobalt, which is here. Cobalt, cobalt, three plus to two plus. See ya. a very big value, plus one eight two. All right, C plus one eight two. Yeah. Okay. So again, how do you do this? How uh, quote all this is one mark. See, see by by quoting by quoting suitable data. You always quote quoting is always one mark. Always quote, right? So here, see when you quote all these values here, you know E not values are quoted. See a whole bunch here. This, of course, can write in this way or write the equation. Is, the equation I wrote is better, okay? okay. One mark. Then plus three becomes more more power, uh, more oxidizing power, okay? okay? Uh, from from this one to this one. Why? Because uh, the E not becomes more what? More positive, okay? Right. More positive. It means more powerful. For for group seventy, it's less powerful because it becomes less positive. It becomes more positive, okay? Becomes more positive, something less positive. So the two different things are compared here, okay? So now we've finished this already. I want to go on to your, um, this one here, your nuts equation, okay? So I have time to do lots of uh, examples. You can see different things coming out together, you know? so you can see the whole picture. I want you to experience that. Okay, now here, right? So we have done predict EMF of a cell. We have done feasibility of, uh, redox reaction, we have done um, the, well, to reduce the power, huh? uh, the oxidizing power of group 17 or TN metals. Now here, the next one of course, to link together with Nurse's question is the predict qualitatively, ah, that means increase or decrease as well. The value of electric potential is on here, original one, varies for concentration. And then we go to this one here, okay. Now let me just, Tell you something again. Okay? It's very important now. You very important. This is very important, right? To always quote the original E not values. Very important. Okay. Don't try to change your sign. You can change your sign when you're calculating for like feasibility, right? But when you talk, you always use the original E not values, and always use one here, even though you can use other methods. Just to E what reduction. Minus E what? Oxygen, very important. Okay, now you see the wisdom of it. Okay, now let's talk about how does changing the concentrations from 1.00 molar to maybe higher or lower, higher or lower will affect the E standard to something different. Okay, now let's look at here now. Okay, I put it in a, uh, in a simpler way first to explain a the theory, All right? Okay, now here. Variations of concentration and effects on EMF of the cell. Remember the cell, okay? Cell. So here I, I, I propose, I got two half cells here. Of course, here is joined to a voltmeter. Here, of course, is your what? Salt bishnet, voltmeter, okay? Let's voltmeter. This, of course, this is your salt bridge. So all this one, okay? Always must think marking system, marking system. Okay, A here, let's say is silver, all right, silver. And this B here is a C here is concentration of silver plus equals to one more per dm cube. Okay, more per dm cube. Ah, this is your standard same. Same B here is magnesium. And B here is of course, is your Mg2 plus here is 1.00 more per dm cube. Okay, clear? So I got it here, right? This is my, from, from E0 values, this is my E0. Okay, silver is positive, 0.8, magnesium is negative. Okay, right, because remember, positive means what? It will occur, it's like negative means that it will, it will occur, it will go backwards. Okay, remember this, okay? Negative means what happened? It won't happen this way, but it happened this way, right? So negative tells you the reverse will happen. Okay, I told you it's in. 
Okay, now this is the must member. All right, now these two here, I'm gonna rub it off first. So when you put it in a cell, combine, combine a cell, we say, oh yeah, so, so uh, we determine first the poles first, okay? All right, so uh, which is which negative? Magnesium is negative, so it's negative here. Okay, and of course it is positive here. Negative is positive here. That means then your, the, the direction of electron flow. Okay, which means here undergoes what? Here undergoes oxidation. Here undergoes reduction. Okay, so remember, right? Now, see, there are a few ways to argue this, this cause, all right? Now, okay, now this is the best way, though, okay? So you are asked firstly to, of course, write the OO equation and then give the E cell, right? These are the first common questions. So now you know that this one undergoes reduction, which is what? Negative, positive, so silver. So actually silver, I put on here, silver. So this is an ionic equation. They also ask you what, okay? So this is a positive in. So Ag plus plus electron to give you one direction, not two, okay? Silver, which is, now of course you, you put the, the correct sign up, it's positive, 0 0.80, okay now, all right? So it's no negative will be of course your magnesium with your Mg, right? Because undergoes oxygen, the magnesium must be going this way now, okay? Uh, goes to Mg, two plus, plus two E, and it's positive. Uh, here you can change the sign because you, but you, you should the equation, but you, you cannot, Say that this is E not anymore. Just, just, just say this is a 2.38. So what we'll, we'll account? First put the E not here. Okay. But it doesn't represent E not at all. Okay. So times two, I change the color. It's two. Two here, two here, two here. I don't times two here. Plus it's all one molar. So I put a line here. So this is the way to get the overall equation. So other equation are the overall equation with two AG. I've done before, huh? right? And you get plenty of this kind of problems here. Cancel this one here. You get 2Ag plus Mg, 2 plus, and of course the E cell. It's close to what? Ah, three, positive, huh? Always positive, huh? 3.18 volts. Now, this is fair, good enough, but this is a better way I told you. Always remember this one here. And these values here are raw one. Don't change. Now, here you change sign up. Here, don't change sign up. Use the original one. So remember E reduction minus E oxidation now. This is very important now. So of course it's zero point, uh, this reduction of course is uh, silver, right? This one here, right now. Minus uh, for, for magnesium, it's oxidation. Uh, you keep it original, so, okay? You minus, minus, same value here. Now, let's say they, they, uh, they say, well, uh, if I got Ag plus decrease from 1.00 molar, I decrease to this, this value here, okay? Ask you to argue out uh, how, what, what will happen? What will happen to the E cell, okay, and why? What happens to the E cell? It means, uh, see, the, the, the original standard is equal to how much? It's equal to positive, positive 3.18 volt, uh, yeah. This is for what standard? Both of them having what? One molar. But now, if I change the silver to 0.5, what will happen? Okay, now we can argue up from this point. They ask you to argue up. Then, of course, they ask you to calculate using Nernst equation. So there are two ways of tackling the problem. So we see that we take the original one here, the original, okay? So see, and now this, now for this value here, this is this, uh, 1.00 mole per dm cube. Now it's gone to 0 0.5, half of it more per dm cube. What happened? That means uh, if this increases, uh, the equilibrium will shift, because it's reversible, you shift forward, uh, uh, backwards, uh, uh, backwards, uh, you shift backwards. They say shift to the left, okay? Shift to the left of your hand, no, I'm facing it. Shift to the left. Equilibrium position, equilibrium. Shifts to the left. It means if you shift to the left, see four is positive, backwards will be negative, it means it becomes less positive now. Right, go backwards now. Okay, it means less, it becomes less positive. It's still positive, but it's less positive. That means that like, it will be less than 0 0.8, 0 .8, maybe positive 0 0.7 or 
So we, okay, let's say, okay, okay, right, okay. So less positive, right? Or some, or some say it becomes more negative. Okay, now my less positive. So it's less positive, that means you look at here, right? This one becomes less positive, okay? Right, it means less positive. Huh? That means this value will be less, eh? that means the E cell will be less, will decrease. Know. That means this equals to 0 0.70 plus 2.38. Of course, it's less, what? So, right, becomes 3.08. You see, of positive 3.18, you know, see, become less, decrease. So, this is how you argue up, okay? So, you must use the Sharpe's principle. Now, another one, another one. Because this one is positive, okay? This one, uh, we, okay, say, now it's positive. So, if I decrease this one here, you shift backwards. How about if I, if I increase it now, yeah, okay? If I increase the silver ions to two molar. Ah, miss, now here's one molar. Here's 1.00 more per dm cube. Now I increase it to two. So what happens? Ah, you, the whole thing becomes disturbed again. Equilibrium will shift forward, huh? shift forward. Ah, see now. So equilibrium position, see, shift forward. Or shift to right. Equilibrium. How you argue very important, okay? Shifts forward, shifts to the right hand side, right? Shifts forward, it means that become more positive. Ah, because it goes forward, plus positive, right? it can become more positive. So maybe it comes to 0 0.90, okay? Right, so become more positive, what happens to the E cell? E cell will be, now here will be go to what? 0 0.9, yeah, 0, 0 0.90, Plus 2.38 because this don't change. This is so one more per dm cube. So it becomes up, huh? 3.28. Oh, the EMF will increase. See now. Okay? Right? So E cell becomes more positive. We increase. Okay? Now. So you can see if I just change the concentration, it will affect the overall cell EMF. Right? Okay? Now here's another example where where I use uh, chlorine, all right? So here, because I'm gonna use the other side, okay? Right? Now, here I got, of course, chlorine here, you will, I, okay, I'm gonna sell here, okay? All right, so use chlorine here, cell two, and this is uh, your meter, okay? This is your salt bridge, okay? This is platinum, right? This is your Cl minus R, ah, 1.00 mole per dm cube. Okay, we don't need some more, okay? Most of the books say more per dm cube, I use more per dm cube, okay? That's my nice one. This is of course silver. This is your silver ions, which is standard, it's equal to what? 1.00 moles per dm cube, okay? Right? So under standard conditions, well, what is the EMF? Remember, I quote down here already. This is your number. It's all written in the raw form, original. This is your E naught. Yeah, written in your right reduction there. So we know, okay. This is what are positive. So which is negative now? Okay, of course, more positive, right? This is this is positive. This is negative. So silver here is positive. Okay, it becomes negative. Yeah. Okay. So I want to just just change a bit. Okay, to, to let you see how it all works out. Okay, so now here, of course, uh, to to write the whole equation now. Okay, of course, now remember here. Here is negative. This is this is okay. This this is positive. This is negative. It's not. So let's uh, if now it's positive means uh, it is what. Uh, if negative means what? Ne ne negative means that it is going to be what? Huh? All right. Under what? Oxidation. All right. This is going the other way, isn't it? Okay. Right. Miss silver. Miss negative first. Silver becomes Ag plus plus electron. So here I gotta. If I put this way, I will change this to minus zero. So when you change equation, you change it. But you don't. You use on here. You don't change the sign. You use the original. Original, I can't stress more than that. Okay, eight zero volts. 
Then, of course, it's positive, which means to accept electrons in angle reduction. So Cl2 plus 2E will give you what? 2Cl minus Cl. And this is positive 1.36 volt. Yep. So uh, you change it to times 2. Okay. Times 2, times 2, times 2. Don't times here. Why? Right? Because here is 1 molar. So you overall equation. Okay. This is very, very standard common thing. So 2Ag, right? Plus Cl2. You become what? Cancel this, cancel this, come 2Ag plus, okay? Plus 2Cl minus, of course, you will be PPT. Lah, okay? So you add them up. How much is this? Right? It will be the E cell standard R. Is equal to plus 0 0.56, of course. Okay? Now, this, you can do it this way. But normally, this is a better deal when you talk about explanation. So E cell is equals to E reduction minus E oxidation. Who is angle reduction? Huh? Who? Of course, your chlorine. Huh? So I quote chlorine here. The original value, okay? Plus 1.36 minus. Who is undergoing oxidation? Silver. I quote also the original. It's plus here. So I remove it, right? Minus, plus, minus, and minus here. So again, it's the same. The same answer. Okay, now using the same trend of argument, right? I now say, well, if the Cl Ag plus is decreased to 0 0.5, how would you argue? Well, what first of all, uh, what happens to the to the to the E cell? Will it increase? Becomes uh, will it increase? Means becomes more positive or less positive? Increase or decrease? Means increase means more than 0 0.56 or become less than 0 0.56. Okay, now this is how you argue up. Okay, now remember, silver is silver is the main deal here. For 1.0 more per dm cube, right? This is the value. So now it's going to half 0 0.5. It means, uh, again, same, uh, right? It's decreasing. So happens to the Charlie's principle, it will shift backwards now. Shift backwards, it can shift backwards or shift to the left-hand side. It's called left-hand side, yeah? Left-hand side, right? Go left hand side, it means it becomes less what? <clears throat> less positive, less positive. It means it becomes maybe plus 0 0.7 as it can. Okay, still positive. Okay, plus 0 0.7. Okay, so it's plus 0 0.7, remember? Now this he is still undergoing what? <clears throat> still undergoing what? Oxygen there, right? Now. Huh? right? It's, it's, it's still going to say, right? So it's, it means here, 0 0.8 becomes what? Here becomes minus, minus here plus 0, 0.7. Okay, it will decrease because it's going backwards. Huh? Going backwards. Going forward is positive, going backwards is negative, huh? but you don't, it's not negative, it's still positive. Okay, right? Become less positive. So, the, so what happened to, to, to E cell becomes less, isn't it? Right? Becomes 0 0.55. Yes, huh? Yep. Zero one, okay, the so five, five, sorry. I don't know. Why am I doing my mess? I mess go yeah. Okay, it comes up minus one here, so it's six, six, uh, seven zero point four. Is it seven? seven yeah, four zero point four five zero point four six. It's not six minus one. Uh, uh, thirteen thirteen minus eight is wait. So minus seven. 13 minus 7, how much is 5? Is 5. 4, sorry, 4. Okay? Yeah, correct. I say 13 minus 7. Sorry, it will increase. What am I doing? Sorry. Uh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Now, my. Okay, let's see. Okay? So it's 1 point. Let's, let's do properly. Uh. 1.36 minus 0 0.7. How much is six carry one here? Six, okay, so it comes plus 0 0.66. It will, okay, right? Right, so I think it will become more positive. It will increase, right? become more positive, okay? Okay, now let's say again here, right? If it increase to two molar, same thing, okay? If two molar, it means it will shift, right? You shift more forward. More forward becomes a bigger, uh, plus 0 0.9, okay? Bigger positive. 
Okay, so bigger positive here, bigger positive here. That means you minus a bigger positive here, minus 0 0.9. That means it becomes less, less positive, less than 0 0.56. No? Let me let it calculate here. 1.36 minus 0 0.9. Six, carry one here, three, four. Okay, so become so becomes plus 0 0.46. You know, become less positive already. Now you see how it comes out. Okay, now I'm going to show you how it comes out in exams. Right? Okay. Um, now this we won't go to here. Now I've got some uh, things here all sorted out for you. Okay. Now let's go to something here before we uh, we start here. I thought a different differently, but now mind not since we're on here. Hold on, uh, I thought I better give you the right one first. Okay, silver. Mm. I wanna. I say. It's quite in front here. Now, oh my, this one I minute. Mean. Yeah. Here we are. See, I got all, all this written down here for you so that it's easier for me. Course, then I, I blew it up. See, okay, now here is the starting point where it's supposed to begin a lesson with. Okay, using this equation. Now, we have talked about predict to predict what quantitatively, quali sorry, qua qualitatively, not quantitative, this, quant this quantitatively. How the value of E not changes the concentration. Okay, then we use them to calculate this equation, right? To predict quanti, quantitatively, quality, quanti, quality, quantitatively means how much the value of the E not will vary. Okay, we give a few examples here. Okay, now let's look at this. Let's do this for a while. Okay, okay, here with your things, blah blah blah. Okay, now they they combine the whole thing together. One, okay, one thing, one thing at a go. Okay, the diagram below shows an incomplete experiment setup, blah, 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 E cell for copper, copper two plus, all right? Now here, of course, they ask you to draw always one. Okay, volt meter here, okay? And of course, your solution. Label, please, volt meter here, salt bridge, okay? Of course, electro bin and silver, so this, now this is, you will soon learn later on your KSP, blah, blah, blah. That means this actually contains AG plus. And of course, it'll be less than one because it's a, it's a very insoluble or slightly soluble substance here, okay? So hold on a minute for us, okay? This will be your silver. This is a copper, and of course, this is your copper two plus. Of course, then it will be one molar, okay? One to more to the MQ. Okay, so say the composition of A and B and so forth, you can, okay? So, so it's of course your CO2 plus, and this of course your AG plus. Okay, complete diagram will hold blah, blah, blah. Two marks, four marks, okay. I can see the, mark, the marking scheme here I put down here. All right, copper sulfate, so here. Do you want copper sulfate? So give, oh, electrode BI, yeah. See, I didn't read, I seen click that way. Okay, so it's good to have a look at. Huh? So, all right, so here, copper sulfate. Huh? Okay, so the silver, all right? Now, the above cell is not under standard conditions, right? Because HFI is a saturated solution, but it's much less than one, you know, because it's a very, very insoluble salt, you know, because chloride, huh? Right? Dead chloride and silver chloride are very insoluble. Okay, they, they will have a small amount of concentration. So the uh, E electrode means for the half cell, okay, electrode means a half cell. Remember, now there's no, there's no this thing here. Okay, so it's not standard. It's later, but it's not okay. Now, so they, they actually give you the, the thing which is very, very good, you know, okay? Now this is for electrode, okay? Which means there's only one, one ion here. There's no two ions here. The two ions will be oxidized form over reduction form, reduced, okay? So there's only one, so it's on top, right? So let's say if, see, now this electrode is standard. This is for silver, this one is for silver. Okay, silver plus, right? So this is the this origin. This will be uh, silver. Is how, silver is how much? You can see from here, silver 
silver is plus zero eight. Okay, so here will be this will be plus original zero point eight zero. Okay, okay, plus zero point zero nine zero six. Sometimes put plus zero point zero five nine. No, so depends. Okay, log base this base ten. Huh? silver plus. So if silver plus is one, that means this whole thing is what? Right, this whole thing is zero, isn't it? Okay, not base 10, one is zero. So, so if it's one more per game, then it becomes the E not standard. See now, okay, okay, right. So use the table to calculate the E cell. Means of two half cells, if the cell was separated under standard conditions. Okay, standard conditions is quite, quite simple, right? So you can do straight away. So these two here, Right, copper and uh, copper, remember silver, you write it down here, I put on here silver plus plus E, right? Give it silver, of course it's plus 0 0.08, so well known, right? Okay, copper two plus, plus E, of course, again, well known, zero point plus two and three, four. Check again, okay, just in case I got wrong. Okay, and check here, copper is three, four. Copper, 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 copper. No, see, okay, okay, CO two plus, okay. So we got it right here. So which is which is the which is the poles? So three four of course is the is, is the more positive. This is positive here, and this is negative. So of course negative means electrons will travel this way with red color, so they easy from the spot. Okay, so 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 it's negative. So okay, so here undergoes what oxidation. Here undergoes what reduction. Okay, simple. So the, if you ask you, okay, uh, well, what's the E? What's the what, what's the E cell? Did they answer the whole equation? So it's easy, isn't it? So E cell under standard conditions, standard R uh, equals to E reduction minus E what? See, everything comes together. Oxidation equals to what? Now who's undergoing reduction? Huh? Who? Copper cell. So you just quote the original. Okay, plus, plus, put bracket here, plus 0 0.34, minus original, or right, silver, plus 0 0.08. 0 0.8 or 0 0.08, I, uh, I don't check here. Silver, 0 0.8, now I say, I say, see, Mr. Lai is uh, using this. See, I got wrong already, you see? Ah, you should told me, huh? See, I think I'm damn smart, see. But not, so 0 0.8. <coughs> is three four, so I got it all wrong. Ah, see now you know right. Okay, so this wrong here. <coughs> is that I purposely do? <laughs> I didn't purposely do. I just got wrong. Okay, remind you that things can go wrong. So positive will be here. This this is a positive sign. This is a negative sign. So it's this way. <coughs> Do you want to go oxidation? Do you want to go? Reduction. So um, just by one zero, you can get everything wrong already. Okay, so now mind, at least we got it right now. So minus here. Okay, change this, no problem. <coughs> okay, now this is your reduction say Oxidation, okay. So who is undergoing reduction? Right, silver. Okay, so is this, this, this value is 0 0.8. Original, <coughs> positive 0 0.8. 0 0.80 mark okay, bracket minus original oxidation oxygen also your copper zero, right remember the should come out there okay it's positive negative here so it's plus 0 0.34 plus 0 0.34 the, the answer will always be always be positive one <coughs> so i tell you sometimes people think it's the other way around i don't agree okay six carry one okay seven four so it's plus 0 0.46 volts. Okay, yeah, okay, see, yeah. Right, zero, see, 0 0.46 volts. Okay, salt bridge. Wow, here one mark each of this, ridiculous. Now maybe this two one is one mark one. Okay, now, here they ask you, now this is the first part, okay now. So it's plus 0 0.46. Of course it's plus, uh, I mean, it's, it's supposed to sell. In the above experiment, right, was measured. Ah, uh, see now. In the above experiment, the cell, that means the above experiment, uh, see now, here there's no more, no more the standard sign, no more. 
no more. It means this one is above here. That means that the concentration of silver here is less than, less than 1.00, right? So it cannot be standard anymore. So they say, well, the, the reading here, right? If it's one molar, it's, it's 0.16. It's 0 0.46. Now, under these conditions, is what? It's only one point, positive one point, points. It's not only positive 0 0.17. It has gone down from here to here. What happened? Ah, what happened? Okay. You say, well, calculate the electrode. Of course, because silver is no longer one molar, is it not? But the copper is. So very simple. Lah. Okay. Use this again. Okay. So remember, remember here is your E cell. No more. Ah. Let's see, I put again. I maybe put it up here. Okay. Cell equals to E, right? Now, reduction is still, is still silver. Okay, now, because silver is still, right? It will go down, right? Now, but it will not be too down. No? Okay, now, it'll only a bit down here, right? So it's still a positive here. So it's silver. I put the silver, okay? So this, this was silver. Equate silver plus dash silver. Lah. Okay. Okay. Right. Why? This what this reduction. Lah. Yeah. Minus E. Okay. A copper. Okay. Two plus of copper. Right. Now here, this part here, this part here is here. So the cell is now positive 0 0.17. It goes to uh, uh, you don't know. Okay. So E. See the electron now, okay, it's on here. This E is for your silver plus silver, okay? Minus your copper is how much? It's still the same, right? Because you didn't change copper, while copper is how much? Yeah, 0 0.34, positive 0 0.34. So this is a math problem. So E for silver, right? Slash AG plus equals to plus, it's not plus 0 0.17, bring over positive 0 0.34. How much is this? Better put the properly as 0 0.51, that's not positive. So it's gone on, it's gone down from 0 0.80 to here now. Right now, let's check, okay? So, okay, I find out 51, yeah, yeah, five one. They do it by another way, but it's not, it's not. Okay, simple, it's all mathematics. Now they ask you to calculate R. Using equation one, calculate the concentration of it in the cellular solution. R. It means now one quantitatively. So you use this equation one here, which is this one here. Okay, right? So you quote this one here. E electrode, of course, E was silver. Lah. Silver, silver, okay, it's equal to E naught for silver. Put the whole thing out so they don't have to mess thing up. Plus. 0 0.06, okay? Log, this base 10, okay? Base 10, okay? Uh, you must know it's base 10. Silver A, now this is a new one. So I told you, if this is one, this whole thing is zero, no? Huh? Log base 10, one is zero, so it becomes the same one. Here, of course, it's a 0 0.80, right? Okay, so plus now here, you substitute this one, uh, okay? Calculate this one, concentration. So now this one here, you found very well, right? Come from where? Come, come from? Uh, where is the silver? Let's see, okay. Yeah, here. The first one here. Yeah, here, here. So, okay, here. Right? This your this part here. So it's here. I put blue now, so you won't. So it's plus 0 0.51 here. Okay, what's what's plus now? 0 0.06. Lock base 10, uh, base 10, okay? AG plus. And uh, now it's got a mass problem, right? So it's what you bring over here. So zero positive 0 0.06, okay? Log base 10, concentration of AG plus, one only one unknown equals to plus 0 0.51 minus 0 0.80. Okay, solve for me. Now this, you're going to solve for yourself, okay? Log base 10, you're anti lock it, okay? Now here, see, right now. 0 0.51, 0 0.08, okay, yeah, see, yeah, and you put down here, anti-lock, this is our answer here, 
So you can find actually the concentration is very low. Remember standard, standard conditions of AG plus how much? 1.00 more per dm cube. So under this saturated, because it's, because it's very, uh, it's, it's very soluble. Okay, so you can see not going to come in to calculate, but you need to explain why, right? Next one. So I did all this for you already. Okay, I think about 15 more minutes got to rush all these things. The diagram shows the apparatus used to manage the standard potential of a cell composed of copper two and copper and iron two and iron. Uh, see, they treat you. Uh, normally it's iron two and iron three. Uh, so they change it a bit. Now mind, you better read the question carefully. Finish the diagram, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I finished for you, okay? So iron here, okay, not platinum anymore. Iron two plus, of course, is equal to 1.00 mole per dm cube. Uh, okay, copper here is copper two plus equals to concentration. Better to put the concentration sign here. Okay, equals to how much? 1.00 mole per dm cube. Uh, okay, copper metal below and blah, blah, blah. Right? So here, simple. Uh, calculate the E of the cell, all right? Okay, okay. Now, they, they didn't ask you to write the equation, but I, I write just in case you want to know write the equation. Now, man, so you no need to write even easier still. Now, now, this is the two I quote down here for you. The two E not original, huh? original, okay? All this all, re, all, all, yeah, all reduction from, okay? Right, minus, so I with minus, why with minus, huh? it's positive name, right? Okay, so of course this undergo what oxidation, this undergoes what reduction. Simple as it, right? So you follow this this method here, this method here, right? So reduction, who is undergo reduction? Copper, right? Copper, you quote the original. See now, it's not here. Original here, original. Plus zero point three four minus quote oxidation original. Okay, 0 0.44, okay? So you remove the sign, you get this one. Now this is your answer, okay, for here. Okay, E cell, you can see here, okay, 0 0.0, see now. So, they, so you don't have to calculate one. I mean, don't have to use the equation all this if you, you don't, have, don't need to, lah. see, right? Okay, now 0 0.78 answer, okay? See, simple thing. Now, Okay, now it's a components and plus one mark one mark. Simple. I don't know why they give one mark one. They, they should give this. Normally, this two is one mark one. Now, my mark one A and B, copper and iron. Okay, simple. C, I did it one more. Okay, copper two plus or blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, okay? now here is the idea of uh, how will concentrate affect the E naught values. Okay, predict how, what, how the size of the overall cell potential, overall cell potential, which means, which means the E cell. Uh, of the whole thing would change if at all the concentration of C is increased. Concentration of C is increased. So now it depends on what C is here. Okay? Is it copper or is it Fe2 plus? Up to you. Okay? Now I, I put down here. I put down here for you. Well, I thought I did here. Okay, here. Right? Now, you see, here we say uh, C is Fe2 plus. Remember now this is this one here. Remember now this is your your E reduction, okay? Which is your remember because you look at here, guys. Right, right. Negative positive is is a copper reduction. So so this is a copper here. Okay, and this is a copper. It's your iron, okay? It's your E oxidation. It will always be same, you will not shift position, okay? So now if C is Fe2 plus, and if Fe2 plus has increased, now, 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 now look here, okay? Right? That means this is original 1.00 mole per dm cube, okay? Which will give you a minus 0 0.44 voltage. If I increase this to two more, la, what happens? It will shift forward, on, right? It will shift forward because it'll be less, become more positive or less negative, is it not? Or less negative, you know? Okay? It becomes, it, that means it can go forward faster. That means it becomes less negative. Less, see, it's negative, no? less negative. Okay? 
which means, well, make a uh, minus 0 0.30. 0. Okay. So, you know, or you get more positive. But it's just a different way. You know. So if this comes more uh, less negative uh, here, okay, remember here, right now, original is, is, is minus minus 0 0.4. You know, so here you know, now it's minus minus 0 0.3. So plus that means that it becomes the whole thing becomes overall cell becomes will decrease you know, less positive. So you know, see. You understand? Know, see now that's now, now this 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 original. You know. So if if it's if it, if it's put two more like here, you go forward more. That means that this becomes less negative because it's going forward more. You know, okay, going backwards is of course negative, isn't it? You know, going forward now, so it becomes less less negative. So this one here. Okay. So now that means the FE becomes something here. So now is your this one here E cell. Becomes same zero plus three four minus <coughs> minus zero point three zero. Okay. So it is plus zero point three four plus zero point three becomes a plus zero point six four. See less than this one here. Okay, right? Overall cell potential EMF would decrease, become less positive. <coughs> now, if you talk about see, uh, here is copper. All right, All right, and uh, C increases. So now this, now this, 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 this one more, lah. and it's positive zero point three four. So now you go to two more, lah. okay? You shift four, lah. Lah. that's the judgment small. Shift four, that means that uh, you will be more positive, see, uh, right? Okay, becomes kind more positive. The E not becomes more positive, right? Go for one more, then a plus zero point. Four, four. I say okay, right? Okay, and 0.44, which means here, it's not here, becomes what? E cell here, positive 0 0.44, right? Now here is minus, minus 0 0.44. Okay, it becomes what? Uh, plus, plus uh, 0. Point. So overall cell becomes more positive or increase. You see how they argue up? Okay, right? All right, huh? so now this is how they do it. Now let's get more examples, so five, seven more minutes. Now here, <clears throat> uh, PBCL2 is the own, it's only sparingly soluble. And this is, okay, I guess, see, silver, uh, chloride, silver and lead are very insoluble. In form five, learn that they're insoluble salts. Right? So it's very insoluble. So it, it will form a very low concentration of PB2 plus here. Much lower than one, of course. Very small, saturated. Okay, so you want to estimate from this this whole thing here. So how you show This is of course standard. Okay, right here. So the solid here is to show that it's saturated. Okay, spaces below. Now it's quite simple. A is of course a watt meter. C of course is your H plus equals to one point zero zero mole per gram. Okay. Always remember to put the units. Okay, B is what. Where is B? B, of course, is a platinum. D is what? D, of course, is a platinum. Okay, four marks, simple. So, solution of course, now, it means that it's very low concentration, very low concentration, minus two. Okay, <clears throat> the E not, E not means it's standard, okay? Standard, okay? Standard means this one is what? 1.00 more per dm cube. Okay, it's this one here, which means this is the one here. They are quoting here, if, of course, you use late nitrate, lah, right? You will give you this one here. Nitrate is also all the so it's minus zero point one three. Predict the potential. Predict the potential. That means the E not here. Predict uh, without this one here. The E, okay, without the thing here, right? Of the right hand, uh, of the right hand electrode. It means here. It's called the right hand. Okay, according to your your thing. Okay, uh, in the diagram above, indicate by by placing the tick on the appropriate value of them. Okay. Right, for E not, okay, for in this case here, right? Okay, the E not, that means that if, if this, one, it, this one is for what? One molar, 1.00 <coughs> more per dm cube, right? Predict the value for, for diagram. Now the diagram here, the concentration of PB2 plus is how much? 
right? It's not one molar, it's how much? It's not here. 3.5 times 10 to the power of minus two. It means this one here is now 3.5 and 10 to the power of minus two. So what happens to the equilibrium position? It will shift, what? Backwards on, right? Okay, backwards here. If you shift backwards, that means uh, it becomes what? If negative, it becomes more negative then, right now, right? More negative, go back more faster. So it becomes more negative, minus 0 0.17 is the only one. Okay, this is less negative, this is zero. So you can see here, uh, how, now, how, how the answer? Tick, correct? Comment, PB2 plus has decreased, right? Plus the description, you know, plus you know, has decreased, right? As PB2 plus decreases from one here, right? This equation goes to the left, you know, huh? shift left, okay? Shift left, you know, okay? Shift left, therefore, okay? therefore uh, E, becomes more negative. Add this inside. How you answer it, very important. Okay, now I go on, you, you got problem, go back and see what, 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 what I discussed. Okay, now here another one. All right, <clears throat> probably do the last one now. Okay, the electrochemical cell is set up. Okay, and so forth, so forth here. Fe2, uh, this Fe, Fe3 plus, uh, Fe3 plus, here's Fe2 plus. See, all these are quite recent, sorry, two, huh? okay. Now this, of course, silver sulfate, again, is very insoluble, right? Normally it's a very low, because it's, it's a very insoluble salt. So it's very low silver ions here. So here, blah, 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 okay. This is a data bullet. Now this here is assuming your, your A, AG plus, how much? Is what? 1.00 mole per dm cube, okay? Right, this is, yeah. So what is the, uh, which thing, which is, which is positive now? now? I'll put that thing here, both of them. Uh, so here, original, all right? Now, so these two weigh in each other. So who is more positive? Of course, silver, positive here, right? This negative here, just a bit more on it. So in this case here, electron move from middle here. So what happened to here is oxidation. This is your reduction here, okay? Right, so now here they ask you, uh, all right? They didn't ask you the for equation, never mind. That means easier, right? Now, if I ask you for equation, this is what, this is what I do, okay? So here, Fe2 plus is the negative. So it must go the other way, yeah, okay? So the other way, Fe2 plus, Fe2 plus to convert the electron. Here, of course, is a, is a here's a, so this, this oxidation, why am I trying to hurry again? Okay, now mind, spot the mistake, oxidation. Okay, this is a reduction, positive, okay? So it goes this way, right? So this is an overall equation, you cancel off the electron here, two plus, right, and so forth. Now, of course, this is the answer here, okay? Zero, positive, 0 0.03. Now you can find the other way easier as well, yeah, okay? So which is the E cell, huh, from here? Reduction, of course, is your silver plus 0 0.80 bracket, minus, of course, is your original 0 0.7, is 0 0.03, okay, this is plus, 0 0.03, okay, positive electrode, okay, which is a, sorry, this will be here. Okay, so which is a positive electrode, they ask you, obviously, who, ah, ah, who, positive electrode will be your silver, as you know, okay, silver, so put silver here. Okay, now let's see your answer, correct now. Okay, so point two three silver and silver, okay, one mark. Okay, all right, now here is the Le Chartres principle stuff again. Okay, how would the actual E cell, now notice there's no more, the thing here, no more above compared to the, this one here, answer question. That means the actual, uh, of the above cell, that means uh, this one here, the silver here is less than what? Less than 1.00, obviously, I don't know. So if it's less than this one here, right? Now remember this, oh yeah, silver here, okay. So now remember this one here, Yes, okay. Remember, AG plus, I should put down here, nah, I have no time now. AG, this is what, plus 0 0.80, yeah, E not, eh? So this for 1.00 molar, okay? So if less than this, I mean less than this, we say one times 10 to the power of minus two, eh? okay? You ship it, ship backwards, eh? okay? Equilibrium will ship backwards, eh? okay? Equilibrium will ship backwards, explain your answer, eh? equilibrium shifts, what? Shift backwards or shift to the left, right? 
Therefore, becomes a less positive. Huh? That means E becomes less positive. Okay, right? Less than, less than, less than what? Then plus 0 0.80. Now, less than 0 0.80, it means here, less than here, why not? Let's say it goes to 0 plus 0 0.70. Okay? Or let's say, let's don't get so terrible. Okay, let's say uh, 0 0.79. Okay? So it's 0 0.9, let's say it's plus 0 0.79. Minus plus seven zero point seven seven, so it becomes very much more than zero point zero two only. Huh? Okay, so it becomes becomes less positive. Huh? Becomes so so here, what one do this becomes less positive. Okay, so the E cell cell becomes less positive or will decrease. Okay, okay. see, okay, less positive. See now, E cell becomes less positive. Okay, because the silver less than this one here, so equilibrium position shift backwards. Okay, now, okay, got two more minutes to go, three more minutes to go. Okay, so how would E cell of the above change if at all a few CMK of sodium sulfate added? Remember, here you test you on the solidity, solidity laws. Iron sulfate, are, this one will not be PPT, so the constant won't change. As long as no PPT, no change, no change. Okay, now, the, the constant still remains the same. You put inside here, of course. The silver ions, whatever that will continue to be, uh, you know, to be to be precipitated. It's got a common ion effect. Right? Okay, common ion effect. You will learn this later. Common ion effect. That means this one will decrease some more. Okay, so it will decrease some more. It will shift back some more. Right? Okay, becomes less and less, less and less, uh, uh, positive. Okay, so it will decrease some more. Let's see the answer here, right? So, uh, okay becomes less and less possible, okay? As it decrease more. So it will decrease more, maybe to 0. Uh, uh, no, 0. 0.7, uh, 7, 8, 5, whatever, no, lower. So it becomes uh, less, okay? Okay, all right, all right. Now, uh, this one, of course, uh, See, all these things, uh, I will go through it later, okay, next time, see next time. So all these are good examples. They give you a wide perspective, all right? The next time we go, uh, we'll be finish up this part here, and we will do on uh, cells and electrolysis, okay? So I better stop now.